want to win a game, you have to teach. When you lose a game, you have to learn. My interpretation of this quote is that you have to think about what you want in life and go after it. If you are to fail, learn from your mistakes, rebound, and go back after it again. This famous quote was spoken by a former athlete and coach of legendary stature who took a group of ragtag players, brought them together, and built a dynasty from the ground up. This man was Thomas Wade Landry, former head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. In this speech, I will talk to you about Landry and the life he lived, spanning from his background, NFL career, and life outside of football. The Great was born in Mission, Texas on September 11th, 1924. Landry had a brother, Robert. Landry grew up in a lower middle class family and lived in an average looking neighborhood. Upon Landry's graduation from the local high school, he packed up his bags and headed to Austin to attend the University of Texas. While in college, Landry became a football star. He played halfback and cornerback for the Longhorns. After college, Landry and his brother were sent off to fight in World War II. Landry's brother Robert died in a B-17 when it was shot down. After returning home, Landry was picked up by the All-America Football Conference New York Giants, formerly the New York Yankees, in 1949. Landry played through 1955 as a cornerback. From the 1955 season to the 1959 season, Landry served as both a player and defensive assistant coordinator while the also legendary Vince Lombardi served as an offensive assistant coordinator. Landry became well known as a coach for his game-changing 4-3 defense, a change from 52 that almost all other teams were running at the time. Landry returned at the end of the season, retired at the end of the season. Then in 1960, Landry was hired to coach the newly formed expansion team, the Dallas Cowboys. And Landry and the team's first season as the Cowboys. They finished with an embarrassing 0-11-1 record. The losing seasons continued until 1964, with the number of wins slowly climbing each season. The next 20 years is history. From 1964 to 1984, the Cowboys did not have a single losing season. During this time period, the Dallas Cowboys played in five Super Bowls, winning two of them in 1972 and 1978 with Roger Staubach at quarterback. Landry coached until the team was bought by Jerry Jones in 1989 and was immediately fired. Landry left the game after his 29-year tenure, the second longest coaching career behind the Chicago Bears' George Hallis, who coached for 40. Landry is also ranked third all-time in wins behind George Hallis and Don Shula, finishing with a career record of 270, 178, and 6, a win percentage of 60%. Due to Landry's amazing contributions to the Cowboys and the NFL itself, he was elected by the NFL to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1990. After Landry's coaching career, he spent the majority of his days with his family. Landry was married to his wife, Alicia. Together they had three kids, Tom Jr., Kitty, and Lisa. The family was broken when Kitty died of liver cancer in 1995. The world was more broken by what happened next. On February 12, 2000, the man in the, the sport coat and the fedora died after a four-year battle with a rare form of cancer. Landry left behind a wife of 55 years and his two children. Landry may be gone, but his heroic story lives on and the bar he raised still stands waiting to be broken.